Now, for my friends who are from Chile, are they still in the house? If Chile is in the house, please let me know. Leave a comment. If Chile is still in the house, if you're in the house, let me know. Love to make sure you're still here before I begin my next house. So if Chile, if you're still here, let me know. <clears throat> and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, because my next one is from Chile. Next one is from Chile. And uh, I'm excited. We were just talking about Chris Carbonell. And this next one is actually another Chris Carbonell collection. And I'm really happy that he's a part of this one. So if our friends from Chile are still in the house, what's up, Gene James? All right, so let's see who else we got in the house. Okay, even if you're not in the house, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and just get, get crack a lacking on this one here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out and open this up. This is called Chilean leather. I just removed the sticker and it is Chris Carbonell. So super excited about this one. Ah, you're so funny over there. Not in Chile, but it's Chile. I get you. I got you. You're right. It is Chile out here too. How nice is this? Super nice packaging. The box comes out. I'm going to pull the little sticker off. And uh, signed by the owner of the brand. He put the notes on here, but they are in Spanish there. Nice to end Christmas with you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Well, Frag Virus DVM is already uh, letting the cat out of the bag here. He's already telling us what this is all about. Here it is right here. Chilean leather. Uh, similar uh, style bo uh, bottle uh, and labeling. Similar style to what you would see in a Bortnikoff or uh, even a Matt Maleg bottle. So nice little square bottle, nice heavy duty. Their coffee scent, the, the, the coffee one was absolutely out of this world. One of the most unique coffee scents I've ever smelled. <clears throat> and I'm really happy to say that that, that came from this house. Um, but I am excited about this one. Uh, my friend who just commented on this one said is, it, he loves it. Casa Niche just joined in just in time as we're talking about Chilean leather. Ha, they're in the house now. Exactly, right? I don't know. It's it's amazing when you people here are like, whoa. They, they're they like, uh, I, better, I better hop on and see what's going on over here. Uh, the notes are right here, by the way. And they are in Spanish. But I think I can figure this out. Let's see what I can do. Yeah. Well, yeah, so this is Christian Carbonell. So I'm going to read this to you. A whisper in your ear, caress on your neck, the skin bristles, you inhale deeply, and you can smell warm leather as you bite down your lips. It is an ode to passionate kiss, floral scents melting and turning into oil uh, in your body. <clears throat> United Nations bondage aroma that invites you to play with your senses tonight. Well, speaking of bondage, there is a, a woman in shackles in the background of this one right here. So, the notes are <clears throat> Iris, Cognac, Nardos, Rosa de Egipto, which I think is Egyptian rose, Oud tobacco, leather, musk, amber, and uh, maderas, maderas. Here we go. So I do pick up on the floral, which is the rose and the iris going in that. But then there's also the boozy of the cognac. There's also uh, the oud is in this is, is pretty subdued. So don't expect this to be a dirty, dirty oud. But the leather in this is definitely coming through. It's definitely coming through. 
Tobacco in this is, is subtle too as well. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be really good on skin. I'm just doing a paper test right now. So you got to pardon me. I'm just doing a paper test right now. So it is... Uh, yeah, I, I, I... Well, first of all, it's the perfumer is... I already know his credits are amazing. So so it's it's nice to know that he's he's behind this. I think that that definitely is a big thing because uh, he knows a thing or two about making leather, making uh, very, uh, very nice uh, fragrances that are that are typically heavier, darker things, uh, mainly things from the Middle East. He does a fantastic job on that. And he knows a thing or two about oud and rose. So really cool. Uh, your wallet hurt after every Joe Sammy live show. Yeah. Well, I think everyone should should have a look at this one. This is definitely a step up from where they've gone. And you're all, you can, I know you're saying your wallet's hurting because of me. Uh, I've got an, uh, I have got a, uh, uh, I've got a preview for you uh, just a second here because there's more from this house. There's more from this house that's coming. This is just uh, the next thing and I'm super excited that I was able to unbox this. Uh, I'm excited where things are going because I feel like things just keep getting better and better with this house. Uh, and even their packaging is has got stepped up a little bit as well. So I, I am already excited about that. Let's talk about the future. Let's talk about the future. Uh, and when I say this, I am going to be testing out uh, six perfumes that are coming out in the future from this brand. Uh, and I literally have absolutely no notes. <clears throat> What's up, JJ? Is that wood on the cap? Wood on the cap. Uh, no, thanks for asking. The cap on there is like a brushed aluminum with texture, kind of like what you'd see on a knob if you would do like a knob for a for a very fancy stereo or a guitar amp it is a it's very textured metal thank you for asking all right sandra saba wanted to be in the video so we got we've got a preview for those of you that are watching right now we have got a preview for you to watch uh right here the next six perfumes that you're about to see right now are previews of the future you're about to see the future of Casa Niche. And um, I, I'm testing these out completely blind, completely blind, meaning I have no notes. I have no, uh, I have li literally no nothing, no information about anything. Uh, yep, it is a textured knob like an amp. Correct, JJ. So first one we're gonna look at is Animales del Bosque. Animales del Bosque. I don't know if I said it right, but again, let's just see where, the, where these go, right? Whoa. So, I don't pick up on animals at all, but I do pick up on an extremely mossy, wet, damp, earthy, forest, you know, smell so forest animals thank you cesar for helping me with that one i don't i darn it i can't get that little thing off my glasses i can't uh i don't know all the spanish language so for those of you that are helping me translate thank you for that yeah so as far as nailing the wet damp forest thing they really have nailed it that's what this is. This smells like a forest. And and slightly, and I mean slightly, there is there is something happening in the dry down that is kind of turning into something. Oh man, I'm trying to think of what I'm getting. It, 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 like at the first blast, it's the forest. You smell it. But then you're, you're getting something that's more of a, a spicy, maybe ambery smell. Don't know. 
I could be wrong, but that's what I got. Okay. Okay, this next one sounds like fun. This one's called Pina Colada. You know. You know. This one may be very predictable just based on the name alone. This one may be predictable just based on the name alone. Let's see if this is going to take you to the party atmosphere of pineapple and coconut and... Oh, it sure is. It sure is. Whew. Creamy. Very creamy. Holy cow. Very creamy. Eating dinner, but you're listening. Thank you. It's all right. And, and I better put on here, and I'm apologizing. Why did I not do this one? I'm just going to put up the notes here. The notes, you guys know wh what, what I'm talking about here from Chile. Casa Niche. Okay, so this is a very creamy, tropical, pineapple, coconut. This is a very gourmand. This is a drink. This is a drink. This is definitely going to, this is going to make you happy. This is going to make you happy. Think of this. This is going to be a summer, summer, fun, summer release right here. Man, that's cool. That is cool. Okay. <clears throat> marejada. 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 I don't know if I'm saying it right. But whatever this next one is, I'll see what this is all about. What's up, Decant Valpo? Wow. I haven't smelled anything like this before. Okay, so this one smells aquatic. I don't know. What's up? He smells like Rome, Roman Leggets. What's going on, buddy? This one smells like a salty aquatic. Maybe the word mare means ocean. And jada, like j maybe jade ocean? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Someone correct me. Surge? Marehada surge. Okay. Caesar perfumes. Thank you so much. That means surge. Well, I, and it could be sur surge like a what? Like a wave maybe? Because this one smells like a, Salty, aquatic, woody scent. What's up, Manolito? Parfumeria Artisanal. Yeah, so if you like aquatics, if you like aquatics, salty aquatics, this might be your thing. That's what I pick up on this. I could be wrong. Forgive me if I am wrong. Next one is called Maldito Placer. Maldito Placer. Someone is already ahead of me, probably translating this for me. Thank you so much for doing it. Big ocean waves. Cesar, I was correct. The surge, like a surge, like a big ocean wave. I was right. Thank you, Cesar. So I'm not crazy, right? Oh, man. Ooh, this is a big one. Holy moly, this is a big one, y'all. Whoa, whoa. This one's called Maldito Placer. Wait, wait. So, oh, I see. Ah, okay. Caesar and f uh, frag, frag virus, uh, vir frag virus DV DMV. I see why this is called what you're calling it. I can't. I won't repeat it out loud. I just won't repeat it. But wow, this is heavy duty. This is gonna whack you in the face. I don't know the notes for this, but I feel like I've smelled some of these notes, right? You have smelled some from the brand? Okay. <clears throat> wow, this, this one is one of those that just give it some time. 
This is one of those that's that's a bit on the naughty side and give it some time. Uh, I'm trying to determine the notes on this one. I can't remember what I can't remember what I am picking up, but I, I, I I'm liking what I smell. I'm liking what I smell. The next one's called Oriental. Well, I have a feeling that the people that are chiming in that say that they've smelled some of these things, here I am thinking I'm the first. They're probably people that are from Chile or people from around there that have already gotten their nose on all of these. So, pardon me if this is my first time smelling those. But, if this is just a first impression, I'm trying to get an idea of what's next on my wish list. Mm, okay, Oriental. This one, to me, comes off a little on the smoky side. Maybe there's incense in this one. Maybe incense, maybe amber. I could be wrong, but I'm picking up on incense and amber. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's not sweet. It's not uh, syrupy, but I do like what I smell. I do like what I smell. This next one, without a doubt, this next one, Chile Max, the owner of Casa Niche. I'm from Chile Max. The owner of Casa Niche is my friend. Ah, ah, very cool. No wonder you know all of this, Cesar. Cesar. All right. Well, thank you for. Uh, Thank you for helping me out with this one. This next one, well, first of all, this next one, I saved this one for last because I knew that the moment I would see this, this one's called Father Tabak. Look at how dark the liquid is for this one, Father Tabak. It stained my paper brown. Oh, this is a, this is a ridiculous, this is my next one for sure. Put me on the list for this one, folks. Father Tabac, holy cow. This is a very dark tobacco. Kind of like a, I feel like this is more like a tincture of tobacco. Tincture, this is, I feel like this is a tincture. This is the, yo, this is amazing. This is a dark, decadent tobacco, almost a boozy tobacco, but a dark, freaking dark, delicious tobacco. I am getting that next. That's my next one. Without a doubt, that's my favorite one of the six. Immediately, my favorite one. And, it, I mean, see, Kasanish, if I'm correct, am I correct that this is like a almost a tincture? Uh, this is not an artificially colored tobacco. This doesn't look like it. That is amazing. That one is amazing. And I love tobacco. <clears throat> I love tobacco scent. So that was a pretty cool journey into sort of a sneak peek of what's coming in the future. Father Tobacco is a statement. You're right. Frag virus DMV in the house. Helping me out with that one. What's up, Tiago? All right. So that was Casa Niche. We just look at, at Chilean leather. I'm going to be rocking this. I'm going to be rocking the coffee one as well. Uh, so stay tuned for my thoughts on that. But uh, I did get a sneak peek of the future. And Father Tabak is an easy, <clears throat> easily a winner next to, uh, uh, well, next to uh, uh, Maldito Placer. Maldito Placer is my next one after that one. For sure. 